So, how's that job of yours, taking tolls on the bridge? I don't take tolls on the bridge. I sell tokens on the subway. Oh, a thousand pardons. You know, it's a pretty interesting job. It's a great place to observe people. Yeah, well, now you can observe your bishop disappearing. You know, the other day, it was raining, and everybody was fumbling around with their briefcases and umbrellas, trying to get their tokens into the slot. It struck me kind of funny. Yeah, little man in glass booth has last laugh. Anyway, it occurred to me that whoever invents a backpack that can also hold an umbrella, would be pretty handy. You know, you might be onto something there. What do you mean? Your backpack, with the proper handling, an item like that could make us a pretty penny. What are you saying, that we can actually make them ourselves? Why not? Back in the 50s, I was in and out of marketing almost eight months. <laughs> Juwanda, it's Heffernan. I uh, just finished my route. I'll drop the truck back later tonight. Here's your suit, my man. Oh, thanks for picking it up. Only way I can make the party. Well, have a good time, all right? Hey, hey, you got anything to eat on you? I literally have not eaten all day. Oh, sorry. Any more gum? I'm chewing my last piece. How long have you been chewing it? <laughs> Does that matter? All right, all right, just go, go. <laughs> then phase three, we show the design to the money guys, get the startup capital, and bam, we're in production. Yeah, we, maybe we should make them someplace like Pakistan or Mexico, you know, for the, the cheap labor. Hey, <laughs> the Unipac will be made on American soil by American workers making decent American union wages. <laughs> <laughs> we start out small, sell them in the subway. Then we branch out to the specialty stores. Then we go worldwide. Yeah, I, I just read that that China market is opening up. Sure. What are there, two billion Chinese people? If we sell each one a Unipack, that's how many Unipacks? <laughs> two billion. Whoa! <laughs> Right here. <laughs> hi, hi, Mr. Brennan. Hello, Carrie. Hi. <laughs> I was just a little thrown by the, the, the... Oh, yes, it's a private elevator. Oh, well, that's nice work if you can get it. <clears throat> Listen, I, I just want to thank you so much for inviting me. I'm just so thrilled to be part of this thing. Carrie, I'm so glad you could make it. Oh, thank uh, you. It's so good to see you again, Mr. Fujita. So I understand Carrie's been showing you around our little town. Oh, yes. Yesterday she took me to eat at a very delicious rib joint. Right. Then a peep show. <laughs> that was his idea. <laughs> Didn't expense it. <laughs> so, Carrie, where's your husband? Oh, he, um, he, he couldn't make it. Hey, I'm uh, Doug Hefferton. I'm here for the party in Mr. Brennan's apartment. Take this elevator up to the penthouse. I, uh, listen, I just came from work. Is there uh, some room I could change in? Nope. Well, where do you change? Changing room in the back. I can't use it. Nope. Tickets to the wonderful show last night. Uh, what was it? Uh, uh, bring in the. The noise, bring in the funk. <laughs> this is a very lively. 